Hello and welcome to this Forex preview at XM.com. We'll be discussing the RBA's upcoming policy meeting and the outlook for the Australian dollar. I'm Maria Pachardes and joining me is investment analyst Christina Parthenidou. So Christina, the Reserve Bank of Australia is expected to close the year with another quarter point hike on Tuesday. That would be the third in a row, which means the central bank will remain out of step with its global peers who continue to raise rates in larger increments. What's your take on the RBA's approach? Hi, Maria, that's right. The Reserve Bank of Australia had decided to uh, downshift to 25 basis point rate increases earlier than other major central banks, mainly because of the uncertainty around the impact of its continuous monetary tightening. Uh, While well, the central bank has been raising interest rates aggressively since June, but it believes that the effects may come with some delay next year, uh, probably because uh, a significant amount of loans has been operating under a record low rate so far, but they're expected to switch to variable interest rates in 2023. So uh, given the that uh, household debt to net disposable income is a huge, uh, just above 200 percent, that makes consumption and therefore economic growth more sensitive to additional uh, rate increases uh, than, uh, for example, consumption in other major economies such as the US. Uh, the housing market, for example, is already showing some weakness with prices coming down from their peaks and even new home sales have eased a bit, but overall the market is still operating at uh, healthy levels and uh, rent affordability in uh, some key areas like uh, Sydney and Melbourne is still above pre-pandemic levels. So uh, given the pickup in uh, wage growth and the still elevated the net uh, savings rate, uh, the central bank may keep prioritizing inflation, but uh, probably with some caution, delivering a 25 basis point rate increase this month. Uh, markets provide a probability of around 74% uh, for that scenario at the moment and 24% for no changes, which suggests that uh, there are still some uh, reluctance about whether interest rates will go higher. But I think that the central bank may have some time to look a bit about how the economy will perform in the coming months before its next uh, policy meeting in February. Apparently, it wants, uh, uh, it wants people to believe and understand that inflation will move back to the target. So uh, it will need more evidence to become more confident that inflation expectations are rising towards uh, the target. OK, turning to FX markets now. The Australian dollar has had a constructive session against the US dollar since the previous policy meeting, gaining around 6% in November. Do you think we'll see further appreciation in the currency in the coming months? Uh, indeed, the, the Australian dollar had an impressive rebound against the US dollar last month, and uh, the technical short term picture is now looking brighter at the moment. But uh, the Australian economy is very sensitive to international development, so, in my opinion, it would be uh, kind of premature to become confident that uh, the pair may stage a meaningful rally in the coming months. Uh, obviously, if the Fed signals a more cautious monetary approach next year and provides more clues about uh, what the terminal interest rates will be and if demand from uh, and also if demand from China grows and global geopolitical risks uh, diminish that may boost the Australian dollar uh, also it would be important to know uh, how the RBA will move forward uh, next year investors don't have a clear picture about what will happen with interest rates next year so any communication on that may bring some volatility in the market tomorrow uh, well, according to the RBA's uh, chief, uh, the central bank will keep publishing forecasts on the economy, but it may uh, provide, uh, but uh, it may not provide forecasts for interest rates. So it will be interesting to see how a forward guidance uh, will look like next year. Uh, if, for example, the central bank signals more flexibility, uh, saying something like uh, it will continue. Uh, raising interest rates, uh, but uh, there might be a pause at some point, for example, uh, then the Aussie may lose some ground. Alternatively, the central bank focuses on inflation ex and explains that the economy uh, is uh, still resilient to accept uh, additional rate increases and even uh, return to 50 basis point rate hikes. Uh, that could trigger a bullish action in Aussie dollar. And in this case, I would keep a close eye on the resistance between 0.69 and 0.70. Christina, thanks so much. And thanks for joining us for this Forex preview at XM.com.